Good afternoon, Rich Nash, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media and leader of the Embedded and IoT franchises. I am here for this week's installment of Five Minutes With. This week, I am speaking to Matthias Wolowski. He is the CTO and the co-founder of Auth0. Good afternoon, Matthias. How are you? Good afternoon, Rich. How are you? Nice to meet you. I am just fine. Thank you very much. So. Uh, I was not familiar with Auth0, I have to be completely honest with you, so I did a little bit of digging, a little bit of research and um, on you specifically, and I found that um, you've been doing authentication for quite some time, um, shy of working for the CIA. Um, how did you get involved in this field? Um, well, you know, I, I always liked uh, to solve puzzles, um, you know, as a kid and, and, you know, doing math stuff and, you know, uh, everything related to solving things and authentication in particular is one of those things that you are always um, solving uh, a problem because in particular when you deal with these protocols and cryptography um, cryptographic problems uh, you need to you need to do a lot of that so I, I got very um, into the into into the authentication space identity in general like federated identity uh, um, so so and and that was like you know five six years ago before starting out studio um, when I was working for uh, for Microsoft and also doing you know as a vendor big identity projects for uh, you know 100,000 employees companies uh, and so that's that's uh, that's how I got interested and then you know doing these projects I realized that there was a lot of friction uh, in implementing you know you know centralized. Uh, identity for 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 these companies where they have all of these applications and um, different different uh, users using those applications and they want to have a centralized unified architecture for uh, for uh, for dealing with authentication and authorization. Okay, um, so what exactly is it that what what zero does? I mean, I I know we're talking about authentication, but um, very specifically, what is it that the company provides? Right, so we, we provide basically a service uh, that solves your authentication, authorization, and single sign-on uh, infrastructure for you, so that the developer basically doesn't have to deal with that. Oh, okay, well, that certainly makes it easy. Um, but is, is this something that they would want to provide by themselves, or is it too difficult, or um, where do you guys fit in exactly? Yeah, well, you know, it's it's. I, I like to think about analysis, right? Like in in our industry, um, you know, in I don't know, 1980s when people were trying to store data, um, you know, you would use uh, CSV files and doing all sorts of different things to deal with, uh, you know, querying data and retrieving data and storing data, uh, and then databases came in, right? Like as a way of solving uh, this issue. Um, of, of, of storing structured structure data, um, being able to query that data and, and so on. And, and so nowadays you don't think about implementing a database engine every time you create an application, right? Um, so the same thing happens like across the board on many different aspects on payment, communication, like uh, you know, with Twilly or Stripe, you know, these building blocks on, uh, that are currently um, uh, emerging uh, well, authentication, authorization, single sign-on is, is one of those as well. Uh, you know, you shouldn't be implementing this yourself as a developer because there are a lot of, um, um, you know, issues around doing it, uh, complexities and, and, of course, the security-related aspects, right? Okay, that certainly makes sense. Now, I could think of a huge number of applications where this technology would certainly play a role, but if, if you were to pick one where... It, w it was most applicable, what would it be? Well, to be honest, um, in any application in the world needs that today, nowadays, any, any application that provides value will have, would need to have uh, authentication, right? Like you would need to identify the user and then, you know, somehow that, that transaction that the user will do, uh, you will need to identify that. Um, so any, I mean, to be honest, I cannot pick any particular technology because authentication nowadays is kind of mandatory in the same way that HTTPS is, right? Okay, so let me ask the question a different way. What are the applications that Auth0 is, is working with today? 
um, we have all sorts of different industries, and, and, and we work with uh, retail, we work with healthcare. Healthcare in particular is one of those where we see a lot of um, adoption, um, mostly because of you know dealing with PII, um, and you know you want to have people specialize on that. And then also um, the ones who, um, um, you know, nowadays you start to see more you know password breaches, um, uh, like you know the the big one was Target. Um, that was a couple of years ago, um, mm -hmm. and these companies uh, that are, you know, protecting user data uh, and, and, you know, having commercial transactions behind, those people don't want to get, you know, don't want to get the CIO that doesn't don't want to get into the risk of of doing the, doing themselves, and then you know get hacked or get breached. Um, so that those also are a big big customers for us. So what makes Auth0 better at doing this than your competitors? I think we, so our, our main um, uh, primitives, you know, from, from a product standpoint um, is, is we are simple. We, we, we took the, pro the complex problem and we made it very simple. So, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a measure of that, um, the quick starts that we, we are obsessive about how, easy, uh, how fast you can get it up and running. Uh, how, how fast you can integrate your application into Auth0 and, and have authentication done. So we have quick starts on, I don't know, more than 20 uh, pl different platforms, Java, the ASP.NET, whatever you want. Um, so we make it very simple to get it up and running. And then the other big, big aspect that I think we differentiate is the sensibility, which is um, the ability to, you know, as any, as any piece of infrastructure that a developer relies on, um, they expect certain amount of flexibility, right? Uh, you cannot give the developer a, a product that uh, it's fixed and, and that they cannot um, change, right? Like for instance, you want to do as part of your authentication transaction, you know, call a, a service that retrieves something that you want to add to the user a token or call, I don't know, some service to enrich the user profile with some information like from other services like uh, you know full contact, for instance. So uh, we give the developer a lot of flexibility in how they can do, uh, in how, how they can implement their use cases. Okay, uh, we're almost out of time, but finally, um, where'd you get the name of the company from? It's sort of unique. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's funny. We started like, the, the the first name was out ten, you know, out one zero, which came from authentication. You know, like ten right. ten is the amount of letters like uh, I, I18N, and then, um, but then we pivot and we, we did a, kind of a new product um, and we needed a new domain for, the, for, for that product. And we said, well, let's get rid of the one and just leave out zero, which is also a good, uh, you know, um, it's similar to OAuth, right, which is something that we provide. And, uh, and you know, it, it's a good thing that people can get confused with um, in a good way. And, uh, and then also the zero is like from, you know, frictionless perspective, as I was saying before, the simplicity, um, you know, <laughs> has, has to do with that. <laughs> That's as good a reason as any. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid we are officially out of time. That was Matthias Wolowski. He is the CTO and co-founder of Auth0. I'm Rich Nass with Open Systems Media. Thank you very much, Matthias. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.